When I started this channel, one of the first videos I did was about the mayor of Hackney, Philip Glanville, and his associate, Mr. Dewey, and his conviction for paedophilia. Um, I thought that had been more or less sorted out and the rot prevented. That may have been rather naive of me, as you will see. I'm going to sort of share a screen in a second. Oh, yes, here we go. The Hackney Gazette's a bit of a slow website to um, refresh as I scroll down this, by the way. But here we go. Questions need answer in Hackney so paedophilia case. From the look of it, many questions need answers. What? The Cackney Council Gazette has uncovered hundreds of previously secret council emails about the paedophile scandal that brought down the borough's mayor. This gentleman on the right with that wonderful hairstyle, I'm not saying mine's great, but uh, I don't have a man bun, um, is Mr Dewey. This gent on the left, um, rocking the Lex Luthor look and that wonderful tie. Um, and yes, I'm well aware what the tie is for, but... Um, I'm not a great fan of doing political statements with ties, especially when they clash with your shirt that much, is Mr. Philip Glanville, our former mayor. The message is obtained under the Freedom of Information Act, where his fresh questions about whether key players did everything they should have done after learning counsel Tom Dew is under criminal investigation. The messages contain allegations of a Labour Party cover-up, which members claim could have amounted to a safeguarding failure. Just before I go on, that also seems to be a great fan of having as many ads down this page as possible, which I apologise for. Hackney Council, the Labour Party and former Mayor Philip Glanville all refused to answer any of our questions about the emails. Hackney decided to review it as commissioned, saying the council will not be commenting on any related issues until after the review is concluded. We asked when that review will begin and end and whether the results will be published in full. The result, report and any recommendations were reported to full council at the earliest opportunity. This has been a classic example of how to answer a question and ignore the question at the same time, as the earliest opportunity could mean uh, tomorrow morning or the end of the universe. Possible adverts. Here's Tom Dewey again. Th that's a fabulously lustrous head of hair there, Tom. Good gosh. Tom G didn't tell Hackney Council or the Labour Party that his home had been raided for indecent images of children. He proceeded with the local election and won in the Bavaria award. award. He would have won anyway, even uh, due to the oddities of electoral con laws and procedures. But he would have had to step down instantly. The timeline on April the 29th, 2022, the National Crime Agency, NCA, raided an address in Hartford Road, Hackney, after receiving four tip-offs that Dewey had recently uploaded in decent images to an online drive. Dewey kept the incident a secret and stood as planned in Hackney's election on May 15, where he was elected to represent a Beauvoir ward. But on the May the 13th, the, council t the NCA told the council about his investigation. A day later on, May 14th, the council informed Labour Mayor Phil Gunville another day, two days later, later on, May 16th, the council informed the Labour Party. We asked Labour whether Mr Gunville should have informed the party as soon as he found out on May 14th. And Mr Glanville, why he didn't do so, neither would answer. I'm not surprising. Here's some sort of um, emails that the Hackney Gazette's turned up with sort of some names have sort of been blacked out and so on, but we can make out the sense of it. Dear Mark, I'm not able to attend a meeting at that day time due to work commitments. Is there an opportunity to schedule this later in the day? Dear Councillor Dewey, I'm writing to request an urgent meeting with you today at 3.30pm in my office in the town hall. Dawn Carter MacDonald will be joining the meeting. I'll be grateful if you could confirm receipt of this email that you're able to attend the meeting. This was from Mark Carroll, the Chief Executive. Hackney Council Chief Executive Mark Carroll called Tom Dewey in for an emergent meeting. And that was two days after the National Crime Agency informed the Council that Dewey was under investigation for alleged political file offences. That evening, Labour members were told he had stepped down for personal reasons. Another great example of telling the truth and not telling it at all. 
The House Chair. The incident revealed that both Mr. Dewey and Mr. Glanville were living in the same house. Each was reportedly renting their own room within the house. This was only revealed by electoral registers as Dewey had his address withheld from public election papers. Hmm. At the time, Mr. Glanville had been the mayor for almost six years with an annual salary of around 85000 So I doubt he was short of a bob or two to rent something. We asked Mr. Glanville why, given his high-paid role, his Cackney address was a single rented room. We also asked him how Dewey came to rent a room in the same property. He declined to answer. He wasn't spending much time there writing in an email to a journalist. I was totally unaware that the NCA had been in the property. When I returned, none of my personal belongings were out of place, nor are there any signs of disturbance in the communal areas of the property. He said he was rarely at home due to election campaigning and spent considerable time in my then partner's home. I'm not very convinced by this that I, idea that he was unaware the NCA had been in the property. It sounds just ever so slightly... Well, let's put it this way. I, I'm, I'm going to make some supper after this, and I... I'd have more, put more faith and repose more trust in a chocolate saucepan to heat a can of super beans on that statement. Swift action. The very first time I became aware of the action of the property and the subsequent arrest and investigation was on Saturday, 14th of May. Mr. Glanville wrote in a 750-word email to all council staff. He said it on August 15, 2013. After Jew was eventually given a one-year suspended jail sentence for possessing 1,850 indecent images. Dear colleagues, you may now be aware that Tom Dewey was today sentenced to 12 months in prison, suspended for two years, alongside a number of other concurrent sentences in relation to a series of disturbing crimes. I'm quite frankly appalled that he was sentenced to us, given a suspended sentence, considering the seriousness of the matter. I'm relieved that justice has been done and my thoughts remain here with the young victims of the crimes and their families, really. Until now, I've not been able to speak openly because of the case, because of the strict judicial protest and the need to follow the guidance of both the council and the Labour Party. From the moment I found out about the rest, I have been conscious of my duties and mayors and at every stage I have acted swiftly and professionally. Priority both me and the council was to ensure that our safeguarding duties were fully discharged and also our legal obligations were performed. Since the arrest came to light, there have been rumours, misinformation, and sadly malicious personal attacks on me on social media and elsewhere. But not long after emailing this account to um, account to council colleagues, a photograph and to circulate of the mayor and Dewey at a Eurovision party together. I covered that in an earlier video. H Hello, I'm from the Morning Star. Could you respond by 5 p.m. latest, please? I have photos of Philip Gamble parting with Thomas Dewey, time stamped at 9.40 p.m. on Saturday, May the 14th, 2022, which is after he was informed of the police in Jason child investigation into Dewey by telephone by Hackney Council, his chief executive earlier that day. This is in contradiction to his public statement he has no contact with Dewey since being informed of the investigation. Has he lied in public office? And if so, will he resign or apologise? In the end, he resigned, of course. Why he did so, and will he now commit to repeat a cause for an independent inquiry into who knew what and regarding allegations against Dewey's child six image offending? On August 30, Mr. Glanfield emailed a statement to the council press office. Being with Tom Dewey at all on the 14th of May was clearly an error of judgment for which I hold hot apologies. I was told of his arrest, but not the full extent of the charges in a brief discussion with the council chief executive the same day. The council has never commented on whether it's this claim. Well, no, it really can't, can it? It's kind of stuck itself in between Scylla and Charidus at that one. Whatever it says would cause it problems. We asked Mr. Glanville how much he had been told at that point. He did not answer. He seemed remarkably tight-lipped for a man who was, this was a man who, when he was in office in Hackney, was telling us he was going to transform the area and do all sorts of wondrous things. I've used this photo before in, um, in a presentation. As you can see, you have Mayor Phil there smiling that cheeky little smirk of his. And you have Tom popping his head in there from the left. It looks 
it looks like an episode of Friends gone slightly wrong from a surreal universe. I shouldn't have been at the event in which we were photographed, but I did so as I feared to cancel the event or not attend myself. May I let term to what I knew? He used this excuse. I, I commented on before. Phil, you could have just said you didn't feel well or you had a work commitment or a series of meetings. You're the mayor of a, a, a borough with a quarter of a million people. You could have found some creative excuse to get out of it. Mr. Glanville essentially resigned as mayor on September the 15th. The same month, Labour members began to raise their own questions. Despite Mr. Glanville being told on May the 14th, 2022, that Midjui was under investigation for paedophile offences, and the Labour Party being told on May the 16th, nobody told local members, many of whom would have known him socially as well as professionally, at a group meeting on May the 16th, Labour members were only told Mr. Dewey had resigned as a councillor for personal reasons. Yeah, yeah, very good personal reasons. And I'm sure some of those Labour members are also in the age group to have kids. And that this, I wonder what they would have thought of Mr. Dewey had had contact with their children by chance. Emails show councillors repeated this claim to journalists in the following day it was asked about Dewey's departure. Members of a group called Hackney Labour Left were appalled and disgusted when they left the learned the truth the following year. Here's their statement. Hackney Labour Left mem statement on Dewey on Tom Dewey matters. Left members in the Hackney Labour Party were appalled and disgusted to learn of Tom Dewey's crimes from newspaper reports and corrupt proceedings over a year after his arrest on the 29th of April 22 for making images of sexual abuse of children including Category A images, which are greater than most serious. And uh, if you don't know what Category A images are and how vile they are, go and Google it. But don't Google it if you've just had your dinner because it may come back up again. Tom Dewey carried on face-to-face -face campaigning after his arrest and remained a councillor for nearly two weeks. The news immediately raised questions about who in Hackney leadership knew who, what and how the matter had been dealt with through to his resignation on 16th of May 2022 and the announcement of Labour Group on 17th of May, this was for personal reasons. This marvellous phrase for personal reasons seems as stretchy as a very big piece of rubber. It could cover almost anything. Safeguarding must be a priority as a matter of principle. It's not a personal matter. Safeguarding policies and procedures are put in place precisely to prevent abuse being prolonged as a result of a people in a position to act, knowing but covering it up and sweeping under the carpet for the sake of individual or organisational positions and reputations. The Labour Party, in common with organisations who come into contact with children and vulnerable ad adults, have a commitment to protecting those who may be at risk of abuse and promoting their welfare. Conveying the impression that his resignation was of no concern to anybody else in the party, was wrong. This message diminishes the impact his actions have had on Manny and the fact that for years they took place while he had the authority of numerous roles within the Labour Party, which gave him considerable standing and influence. In the again, the Hackney Cowns Gazette's asked Labour, the Labour Party about this again in a continuing trend towards not liking to answer, no response. This gentleman before, below, is Major General John Henderson. He's been tasked with reviewing Hackney Council's handling of the Tom Dewey scandal. I suspect the, the good Major General here will be uh, going through enough paperwork to stuff a thousand elephants by the time he's got through with that. And I suspect people will be trying to hide things in cupboards and obfuscate and distract him and mislead at every turn. I do wish him the best of luck in finding out what is actually going on here. Hackney Council has asked John Henderson to conduct a review into the scandal. Mr Henderson is a former Major General who spent eight years as Chief Executive of Staffordshire County Council. The review will look at whether the Council met its safeguarding obligations and will examine the Council's process, the Council said. It will make recommendations for any improvements. But the review will not examine whether there are any shortcomings in Labour's response, which I virtually feel it should, but of course I'm not doing this review. My concern is, with all this waffle and obfuscation and 
misdirection and slight of hand, or in this case, slight of mouth in some cases. How deep does this rot go within our local council here in Hackney? How we got a collection of what, let's be frank, could be called nonces wandering around in the council still, and people who you wouldn't really want to be leaving your kids alone with, or for that matter, anyone vulnerable.